when we trace the evolution of Buddhism in ancient India, we find the reference of four super important Buddhist councils. The first Buddhist council was in 483 BC and it is believed that it was convened at the time of death of Buddha. Now, this first Buddhist council was convened in Rajagriha. Rajagriha was the initial capital of Magadha. Now, this was the time of the ruler in Magadha as Ajat Satru. Ajat Satru was from Haryanka dynasty. And it was in times of Ajat Satru that Buddha died. The second Buddhist council was convened around 100 years after death of Buddha in 383 BC. And it was convened in Vaishali. This was the time of Kala Shoka, the Magdhan ruler. And Kala Shoka was from Sishunaga dynasty. The third Buddhist council was there in times of Ashoka the Great, the Mauryan ruler. It was convened in Patliputra. And it is believed that it was convened in 250 BC around. The fourth Buddhist council was convened somewhere in 1st century AD. The exact time is not clearly mentioned. And this was convened in Kundalvan. Kundalvan is a place in Kashmir. And it was convened in times of Kanishka. Kanishka was a great supporter of Buddhism and he was the famous Kushana ruler. Again, when you talk about the fourth Buddhist council, all of them and four Buddhist councils, we have to know here that the first Buddhist council was presided by the great Buddhist scholar Mahakasap. Mahakasap in Pali or Mahakasap, generally he would be called. And the first Buddhist council, the outcome was that here the two great treatises in Buddhism that emerged. One was Suttapitak. Suttapitak was compiled by Ananda. What do you mean by Suttapitak? Sut is to listen. So basically the teachings of Buddha, they were described in this Suttapitak. Another outcome of this first Buddhist council was compilation of Vinayapitak. Vinay Pitak was compiled by another disciple of Buddha, Upali. What do you mean by Vinay? Vinay is behavior. So basically, Vinay Pitak talked about the rules for the behavior of the monks in Buddhist council. Now, if you talk about the second Buddhist council, the second Buddhist council was presided by the great Buddhist monk, Sabakami. Now, a very important outcome was there in the Second Buddhist Council that ideological differences started among the Buddhists. And two groups emerged. One group was called Sthaviravadin. And one group was called Mahasangikas. The Sthaviravadins, they were orthodox. What they believed is strict implementation of the teachings of Buddha. And later, the Sthaviravadins emerged as Hinayanis. On the other hand, the Mahasangika, they were heterodox. What they wanted, liberal interpretation of the teachings of Buddha. And the Mahasangika later emerged as Mahayanis. Now, if you talk about the third Buddhist council, it was presided by Mowgli Put. And the outcome of this council was that a Bidhamma Pitak was finally compiled. So, what was the significance of a Bidhamma Pitak? A B plus Dhamma. Basically, this talked about the core philosophy of Buddhism. So the basic philosophy of Dhamma was compiled finally in the form of a Vidhamma Pitak 
finally by the third Buddhist council. The fourth Buddhist council, we discussed that it was in Kundalvan, Kashmir, and here the final outcome was the compilation of Vibhasa Sutra. Now, the fourth Buddhist council was presided by Vasumitra. And he was supported by Ashwagos. Additional information that we can have here is that Ashwagos was the famous writer of the book Buddha Charit. Again, a super important information that we can have here is that the fourth Buddhist council was convened. Just now we have discussed in times of Kanishka. And Kanishka was supporter of Mahayan Buddhism. Both Ashoka and Kanishka, they were supporters of Buddhism, but Ashoka was supporter of Hinayan Buddhism and Kanishka was supporter of Mahayan Buddhism. So, this Vibhasa Sutra basically is a treatise on a book on Mahayan Buddhism. Now, this is what I wanted to discuss with you in this part of History Simplified series. Very soon, I would be there with another topic of History Simplified series. Thank you so much.